Now continued with notations, there are two ways of representing the sets. One is the roster form and the other is the set builder form. So when I have sets, I can represent them always in two different forms depending on the demanded problems. One being referred as the roster form and the other being referred as set builder form. So what is the roster form? A roster form is the direct inclusion of elements in the set. When it comes to the set builder form, it is not the direct way of writing the elements, but an indirect form of representing in the set form. It will not be direct. We need to identify the statement and then write the elements in the roster form. So this is the direct step. This is including the indirect step. So let's see with more further examples to understand the roster and set builder form more better. So let's start with roster form. Now here, roster form is direct inclusion of elements in the set. Set builder form is the indirect inclusion of elements in the set. So the same thing when I write indirect inclusion of elements in the set. Now let me take one particular example which can be written both in the roster form and the set builder form. Say I take the situation of set of vowels. Say for example, I take the situation of set of vowels which I wanted to write both in roster form and set builder form. So when it comes to the roster form, the set of vowels which we already know from English topics that they are A, E, I, O, U, the five alphabets of the English letters which are called vowels. So here the roster form of set of vowels which I generally denote with A can be written as all the vowels listed directly in the set. So the vowels which are A, E, I, O, U directly written in the set form of A is called the roster form of writing the set of vowels. When it comes to the set builder form, the elements are in direct inclusion but not in direct inclusion. Therefore, the same set builder form of A can be written as X such that X is a vowel is how I write in the set builder form. So what difference do we find between the roster form and the set builder form is very important in differentiating between the two definitions which we have considered here. So when I take the set builder form, as I said, this is indirect inclusion clearly makes me understand through this example of set of vowels that from this, I don't get the complete information of the elements or objects inside the set. I have to just take this information and go a step ahead in identifying the elements. Now here it makes me understand with the outline of the picture indirectly that X is a vowel. Yes, set A is all elements X such that the condition is that X is a vowel. That means I get all vowels in the set form is what is the minimum information given by the set builder form. So immediately I can understand that from the set builder form I can build the elements inside the set. Therefore, all the vowels A, E, I, O, U are immediately written in its immediate step, intermediate step. Therefore, indirectly set builder form derives the, the roster form from its minimum information provided inside. And this would be directly the roster form is how I differentiate between the roster form and the set builder form. So let me take one more example where I take the set builder form and I want to construct the roster form of the given set builder form. So my A is X such that X is a natural number. My first condition is that X is a natural number. And not only that, the condition here is that X lies between 
this is the information given in the set builder form it is not direct but i want to generate the elements and then write in roster form how do i do that is the biggest question in this problem so let's start and see how we can do that now as you can clearly see the set builder form of the given problem it says a is all elements x such that the first condition is that x must be a natural number so whichever elements you're writing inside the set must be natural numbers not other than that and secondly the condition is that we are going to consider the elements between 4 and 7 including 4 excluding 7 because this is less than or equal to and this is less than so inclusive 4 exclusive 7 I take all elements which are natural numbers or I take all natural numbers between 4 and 7 including 4 and excluding 7 now once this information is grasped I think it becomes very easy because immediately I can understand that there are natural numbers between 4 and 7 and inclusive is 4 5 6 but exclusive 7 so I don't get 7 inside the set so therefore my set builder form when converted to the roster form gives me the set 4 5 6 the set with the elements 4 5 6 is what indirectly given in this form so we should be able to convert the set builder form to the roster form or sometimes the roster form into the set builder form in this case this being the answer for the given problem so let's take an example problem where we are going to see how we can convert the roster form to the set builder form and in this supporting example we're going to see some interesting properties arising out so to start with an example problem where my roster form say I take an example of the set x equal to this is the roster form now in this case I would like to take the different cases of converting into the set builder form so firstly what I do is I understand this clear picture of the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 etc and etc till infinity so this is nothing but set of natural numbers as we can clearly see out here so I can write the set builder form of this with its first identification that this is all elements x which are natural numbers is how I understand the set builder form of the given roster form because each of its elements are natural numbers continued <coughs> so therefore I can write in the form x as that x belongs to n but interestingly I can also write this as x as that x belongs to the intersection of the natural and whole numbers so when I intersect the natural and whole numbers I get the natural numbers so this also acts as the set builder form of the same given problem thirdly further I can take another set builder form for the same problem of set of all numbers starting from 1 2 3 4 5 till infinity so if I write this in the form of x equals x such that x belongs to z plus then in this case I understand that the set builder form of the roster form need not be unique but the roster form of the set builder form is always unique it's very important to identify the uniqueness of roster form and set builder form so as supported with I get three different set builder forms which generally arise from one set written in its roster form consisting of elements one two three four five so I make a note here so when I convert the roster form to the set builder form the condition is that it need not be unique as you can see here three different set builder forms or more than three which can arise out of one set builder form or of one roster form so roster form when converted to set builder form need not be unique but the set builder form when converted to the roster form is always unique so set builder form when converted 
to the roster form will always be unique is the learning outcome in roster and set builder forms in understanding the concepts of roster and set builder forms with their respective definitions.